how to make a 1000x in crypto using launch pads how to avoid losing money that's what we're going to focus on today launch pads focus on ido's initial dex offerings it's a big deal but we're going to focus on the three key factors that you need to know to maximize your odds of winning but also to understand the macro dynamic of the market and the psychology. So if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. My name is Jagir. I'm the award-winning author of The Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro. I'm here to serve you because I've been trading crypto for around four years now, but trading currencies for over 15 years, 2008. Wow, that's been a, a long time, 2008, 2007. 2006 actually, so yeah, 15 years. So today we're gonna to dive in with the macro picture first. So three things we need to know. First is the timing of the market when we're looking at launch pads. Most people don't understand, and you may not understand, that the market goes through cycles. And there's optimism, and there's pessimism, and there's an in-between kind of phase. So this, what we're looking at here, is the total market cap of crypto at the all-time peak, which was recent, which was back in May, May 9th, the market cap of crypto got to $2.5 trillion. $2.5 trillion. I think today is roughly around $2.2 trillion. We dropped back way down to one point, what was it? $1.1, $1.13 trillion. And now we're, yeah, literally back at $2.2 one today and as high as recently almost 2.2 trillion dollars right so when the market is making all-time new highs let's just go back a little bit in time let's just go back to here let's just let me do this uh replay uh, uh no it doesn't let me do it all right what i was going to do is going to go back in time when the market is making all-time new highs like this it's pure optimism 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 and people believe the market is never going to come back down even when we take 2017 into account you know this low or this high up here as soon as the market started making new highs above this point as a market cap right here back in when was this this was in december december last year january this year as soon as we start making all-time new highs look at this optimism all optimism right and money flows in there's fomo in fear of missing out panic buying institutional money and people are really driving the market forward that's pure optimism right when ideals occur during this season man that's when you're going to get your 1000 x's 100 x's 200 x's 500 x's 1000 x's but when we're in this phase of the market you know recently more recent times from april you would have seen my bitcoin video possibly i think i've got it here i've got it here I think I did a Bitcoin video. Yeah, this was April 19th where I said, look, we're likely to see a pullback. Um, and this coincided with the whole market, which was here. This part of the market is pessimism. IDOs do not perform well in pessimistic markets. You know, you get a 3X, 5X, maybe a 10X. The odd IDO will maybe do a 50X, 100X, but on average, they'll tend to do a 3X, 5X, 10X, 20X on average. So where are we going now? So first we want to look at the timing of the market. Well, recently we've had an influx of money back into the markets. Look at this, boom, right? So when we go above this point, when it's new highs being made, uncharted territory, we're probably going to have some type of pullback. That's what normally happens. When we get to this phase of the market, this again will feel like January of this year. If it was about in January this year down here, this part, let me just um, draw a nice big box so it's really, really clear. Because this is such a key point, people miss it. Because this is going to relate to the next point that I'm going to make. This point of the market. Man, this is life-changing money right here. Right? And that's when you want to ride the wave. And there will be a time in the very near future that we're going to see something like this again. And it'll be in this kind of phase. Right? All time new highs being made. New money coming into the market. So just think about it logically. When the market capitalization is going to all time new highs, it means the most amount of money in crypto is hitting all time new highs, which means new money has to come in. 
new money has to come in. Whether it's retail, whether it's smart money, like VCs, it's the whole combination of everything, right? All this money that's coming into the space. So first thing is timing. Don't be fooled by the recent performance of IDOs. Some would have done 100x, 20x, but on average, you would have probably seen a 3x to maybe a 10, 20x, right? Which is not that great in the grand scheme of things when you're looking at IDOs, keeping in mind that you're probably gonna get only small allocations. So number one, first point that you need to know is timing of the market. We are not in peak IDO season right now. We are not in peak IDO season right now. But there's a pro and a con to that. The pro part is it means we can get IDO Launchpad memberships at a massive discount, at a massive discount. When it is peak IDO season, like this first pink box, guess what? Membership prices go up. Why? Because token prices go up. So right now might be one of the best times to buy your Launchpad membership because it's off peak season, right? It's not prime time. So now let's just look at a few of the IDO platforms. What we're gonna focus on, I'm a fan of BSC Pad, BSC Pad member. I like what they're doing. I like the user interface. I like their projects. I like a lot of things about them. I'm not saying they're perfect, but I like a lot of things about them and I see where they're going. So let's just first of all now look at the second thing, which is going to be members and allocations. Right? And I want to I wanna, I wanna touch upon those two points. But before we do, still on the point of timing, right? Let's just look at BSC Pad, right? Their all time high price was, let's actually look at it here. $7.45, right? $7.45. I need to pull up a calculator for this because most people don't realize this. That's when the market cap was, let's just have a quick glance. What was the market cap? Market cap, no. Market cap at its high was like 286,000. Let's just go by this one here. Uh, 165,000, that might be an outlying data there. 165,000. 165 million, sorry, on its market cap at its all time high. And right now it's 38 million market cap. So I want to pull up the calculator, right? Um, so it's all time high price. What do we say? We said 745. Oh, it says it. I don't even need the calculator. It says it for us here. It's 90.8% down from its all time high. That means you're getting a 90% discount, right? 90% discount. And even if we just take it to recent times, back in May, it was $3.32. Still a significant discount, like 66% discount, right? So it doesn't look very well. It doesn't look healthy for the price. But keep in mind that this, all this price moving downwards is off season. I can't emphasize this enough. People miss this. This part down here reflects off season, right? Which means ideals don't do well which means we are gonna see the price action do exactly what all ideals, you know, all ideal launch pads, look at all of them, whether it's paid ignition, whether it's Pokestarter, whether it's Dowmaker, whether it's Duckstarter, Kickstarter, all of them just went boom, down, down, down. Now let's look at Tronpad. Now Tronpad is owned, well, this is not the one I'm looking for, I'm looking for this one, Tronpad. Tronpad is owned by the BSC pad team. Justin Sun from the Tron blockchain approach, this is how I understand it. BSE pad, love what you're doing for the projects. Can you do it for the Tron blockchain? So that launched. But again, the highest price for Tron pad was 30, 31 cents. 31 cents. When it launched as an IDO, it did a 240x as an IDO. But look at the price today. It's like three cents. And it's been as low as under two cents. Are you kidding me? Under two cents. That's crazy. So this is also 90% discount. But guess what? It's not peak IDO season. So timing, I can't emphasize enough, is so, so key because most will not have the foresight to think that the market is going to have a, a mania phase, panic buying phase, where everything is just going up like crazy. With IDOs, the beauty is, if you're not familiar with IDOs, I should have probably cleared that there at the beginning. Uh, IDO means initial DEX offering. The first time a token is listed on a secondary market. DEX is a decentralized exchange, meaning there's no middleman, so it can list straight away. And there has liquidity, buying and selling. But also when it's launched, the market cap 
when like when Trump had launched, the market cap I think was a hundred thousand dollars, right? A hundred thousand dollars. What does that mean in reality? Well, it got to a peak of what do we? What was the peak? Let me just zoom in here. The peak of Trump ads market cap was around 50 million, 50 million, right? So it means the market cap went to 50 million and it started at 100,000. I think it was 100,000. We can, we can clarify that. It's a 500x, maybe it was a bit higher. I think it was a, because I know it did a 240x, right? I think it might have been 200,000. What was Trump ads ideal price? Should we have a quick look? Yeah, let's just have a quick look. Let's just jump into Trump ad. Let's, oh, we need to go and jump into BSE pad. Let's go to projects. Let's just scroll down to Tron. Tron, Tron. These are all the IDOs that BSE pad has done. And here's Tron. Here's Tron. So we click on the launch and it tells us here they raised 150,000. So it was close. 150,000 was their initial market cap. Um, there's a couple of things. I don't want to go into that actually, but that's, that's not the importance of today. Today's importance is timing, right? Discount. Let's look at ETHPAD. ETHPAD hasn't even launched its first IDO. It's only been around for 4th of August, I think. 20 days. 20 days. Their first IDO comes out on, I think it's this week. Maybe this week or next week. Cross, cross Wallet. Is it Cross Wallet? Yeah, Cross Wallet, I think it is. Or Cross Dex. Cross Wallet. Um, but the point being is, look at the market cap. The market cap is 11 million and BSE pad has been 150 million and ETH pad is focused on the Ethereum blockchain. Why am I ranting on about timing? It's not ideal season right now. But what that means is eyeballs are not totally on this. So it means prices are dirt cheap. Dirt cheap, embarrassingly cheap. Like I can't believe how cheap these prices are. Trump pad, BSE pad, um, ETH pad. So timing, number one, understand that we're not in peak bull, bull season right now. That's point one. I probably went on about that too long, but I just wanted to really get that point across because most people don't get it. So that's what's really, really important. Second point I want to do is members. Okay, so look, there's multiple launch pads. There's Pokestarter, there's Dowmaker, there's Duckstarter, there's Kickpad. Um, well, it's not a launch pad no more. They're, they're doing a, a cap event now. So, so ignore Kickpad for now. Um, there's a few other new ones coming on. Um, there's the Cardano ones. There's the Solana blockchain ones, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna focus on the BSC pad ones because I love their team, I love what they're doing and how they're doing it, but the same lessons apply to everything. So now let's just jump in to members and allocation. That's the most common question is like, how much allocation do I get? What's the memberships? So I wanna get two points across here. How are the allocations shared? Now just think about this logically. If you've got 100, Marbles, right? let's just use a simple example of marbles. And you need to share them with 10 people. Every person equally would get 10, right? 100 marbles, 10 people, it gets divided by 10, they get 10 each. Now if you had the same bag of marbles, or 100 marbles, but there's 100 people, and you had to share them equally, how much does each person get? Well, each person would then get one. Why am I talking about marbles and number of peoples? You want to be aware of the number of members to the launch pad because what you're going to notice is when I click on projects with BSE pad, there's one upcoming. Let's just focus on this one on the right NFT launch, right? And there's a reason for this NFT launch is launching. I don't, I think it's in September, mid September. But then we go to Tron pad, we go to projects and look NFT launch, right? We go to ETH pad, we go to projects. We go to NFT launch. I didn't use CrossSwap because CrossSwap doesn't seem to be launching on Trump pad. It seems to be launching on ETH pad, excuse me, and BSE pad. Why is this important to know? Well, all three platforms are going to launch NFT launch. The question if you're buying a launch pad for the first time is what is going to give you the most value for your money in terms of membership? How cheap is the actual membership? But well, really what you should be focused on is how much allocation am I going to get from that itself? So then we can go to the staking feature and I'll show you why in a second. All of them have, it's pretty much, it's the same company, same BSE pad, or the Bluezella team, run BSE pad, Trump pad and ETH pad. So we've got stake in here and we're gonna go to stake in here, right? We have this section here, it's not showing, why is it? I have to connect one of my wallets. All right, give me two seconds. Well, I know what this number is. Number of stakers basically means number of members. And the BSC pad is around 8,000. Trump pad 
was around 2000 or 1700 and east pad is you can see here is 1600 okay well trump pad and east pad have roughly around the same number of members whereas bsc pad has four times as many members so just from that perspective you're going to get a higher allocation with the ones that have less members that's important to know that's the first point second point is hopefully that made sense i want to cover is the membership weighting as in you, there's this section here that says pull weight all of them have this um trump has the same thing if we go to tron if we scroll down here it says pull weighting epad same thing and uh, pull weighting it's not clear to know how much you get in dollar amount for each idl what this represents is a weight depending on the number of members and the num how how much the the company the project is raising so here's what i want to get really really clear let's just say uh, the poor weighting for mars is 45 and mars members let's just say they end up getting 450 dollars what you want to know is how much will moon members get well moon members will get a weighting of 10 so we simply divide this by 45 times 10 so where mars members would get a 450 dollar allocation moon members would get a hundred dollar allocation but if mars members got 200 dollar allocation i hope this is making sense because uh, this is math right no one right likes math i used to be a math teacher i used to be a math teacher so i want to make sure this is making sense to you let's just say mars members got 200 dollar allocation you might be thinking Chikia, why does the dollar amount change? Why does the dollar amount change? That's a great question. Let me just show you this. If I click into Equify, you will see that they were raising $150. Yeah, $150,000. But now if I click onto another project, let's say it's BSC Station, they were raising $84,000. If I now go into another project, which is, let's just go into um, Ethpad. Let's go to Ethpad. Ethpad launched not that long ago. Here we go, Ethpad. We click on it. Ethpad raised $40,000, right? So every project raises a different amount of money. So what we want to focus on is going, okay, if, if a project is raising less money, you're going to get less allocation. That, that's going to be should be really clear but when mars gets a 200 dollars allocation the weighting is 45 so if we divide that by 45 and then times it by 10 that will give you what allocation so where mars members would get 200 dollars moon members would get 44 dollars so the point i'm making across here there's no fixed dollar amount there's no fixed dollar amount it's a moving target so we've got timing we're now in peak season now we've got waiting you want to know the weight of the project it's important to know that you're only going to get 20 30 40 50 dollars at the lower tiers and on the upper end you're probably going to get 200 to 500 dollars depending on the project if there's a low raise it's going to be a low amount but that's why we are looking for our 1000x if you get a hundred dollar allocation which makes a thousand X that's a hundred thousand right that's important to know but that's not going to happen I don't think in the immediate immediate future two three five weeks ten weeks until we're in real peak mania ball mode season but we've got allocation that was the third thing so we've got timing we've got members we've got allocation so now I'm going to give you an example and this is what we're going to wrap up with so BSC Pad, the team, made a, a very exciting announcement yesterday. And they said, coming soon. I'm going to play a bit of this. Let's see if we can play this. I'll turn the volume up. Let's forward it. They've got this sexy little advert happening. The launch pad. Something special is happening. Cardano's brewing. And they are just announcing. It's coming. It's coming. Boom. Adapad.
Yeah, I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. I was talking about this for, for a while in my, my own circles. Ada pad, Cardano pad. Cardano is getting a lot of attention. All time new highs being made. The blockchain is now moving to the next phase of adoption and it's, it's launching out the certain chains. Ada pad is going to be huge. So you might be thinking, right, I want some ADA pad. It's going to do, I think it's going to do a 200x, 500x, eventually a 1,000x. It's going to be inevitable. Um, it's, it's just, it just is. And if you're looking to buy ADA pad, you're going to have an option of buying BSE pad, Chomp pad, ETH pad, and there's even another one. Um, but you want to be going, right, what's going to give you the most value for your money? So hopefully that's going to make sense. So let's summarize. Let's summarize. We spoke about a lot today. I was kind of, kind of chopping and changing back and forth. But the main, main, main things I wanted to get across was, one, timing on the market. We're not in peak bull mode season yet, especially for alt and for IDOs. So you're going to get your launch pads at a discount. I've used the example of BSC pad, Trump pad, and ETH pad. There's other blockchains and other launch pads. We want to know that Trump pad is focused on the Tron blockchain. BSC pad is focused on the BSC network, the Binance Smart Chain. And then ETH pad is going to be focused on the Ethereum blockchain ada pad is going to be focused on the cardano blockchain but you do have cross cross launches where there's one project launching on four three maybe two different blockchains that's important to know second thing is you're going to get things at discount now but what you need to take into account is the number of members and then you want to understand the allocation allocation is varied some you're going to get higher and lower depending on your membership but each project is raising a different amount of money and each platform has a different number of members. Whew, we cleared a lot today. Let me know. I don't think I did a great job today, to be honest. I think I think I could have made it clearer. So let me know how I can make today's stuff clearer. What should I make a video on to dive into maybe just one area and really dive in deep to make sure this is articulated in the right way? Because the token price, the membership token price, BSE pad tokens, let's just say, is at a low price and it moves quite a lot, but what should we anticipate, anticipate to be in the, in the future, but how to maximize IDOs. And there is a practical element of IDOs, how to make sure you get your allocation, your guaranteed allocations, how to get extra allocation. And there's a few other bits also. So if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let me know in the comments below, what area should I just dive into? Maybe kind of really articulate even clearer so you can maximize if you're going to do launch pads as part of your strategy to get the most out of it. By the way, I, I believe my launch, my, my, my Fibonacci and Elliott Wave masterclass is ready. Should be in the link below. If you want to check it out, it just helps you read charts. It's free. I'm giving it to you for free so you can read charts and the psychology of the markets, maximize your upside, minimize your downside, because that's going to be important when you're doing your exit strategy, especially for IDLs. All right. Have a great day. We covered a lot today. But hopefully that was helpful for you so you get a really clear picture on what to expect, also what not to expect. See you soon.